What's up, everybody? So today, after last night's live episode on positioning and stances, I decided to show you guys a little bit of offense on what I was talking about. So today, we're we'll going over my left on right, Ippon Seinagi. It's featured in my Mastering Ippon Seinagi Instructional on Judo Fanatics. You guys can go check that out. I know some of you guys who are subscribed to the channel and are members here on the channel, you guys have already purchased it and you love it, so thank you for that. But let's get into this technique. So let's take a look at a standing Yipon Seinagi against left-handed players. This was one of my favorite throws against lefties. It was safe, it kept me safe, and it was something that they had a lot of trouble dealing with. And the main reason for that is I took away their main hand. So the big thing with lefties is they have to have this hand on the gi in order to score. For the most part, I would say somewhere in the range of like 85 to 90% of all throws, require a lefty to have this hand on the gi somewhere, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out and I'm basically gonna grab the top of their sleeve and I'm gonna jam it right here into their hip, okay? And then I'm just gonna kinda get close and I'm gonna lean on it. Notice that he stays there, but my arm gets shoulder because, shorter because I'm rolling my shoulder back to get this hand as close as possible so I can get right next to him, okay? We're here, jam it, and get nice and close. From this angle, this is one of the most important details, so I wanna make sure you can see it from everywhere. When I grab on top, I jam it, and I get close. And it's okay that this foot is behind this one because it allows me to play with it and foot sweep him and kick his leg out to get him to step back and then enter if I have to. So again, hands up, circling to the right, Boom, pin it, come back. Starting here, walking out, starting to the right, pin it, okay? Foot goes behind his. My other hand now, my collar hand, is going to the opposite side here, and I'm gonna go thumb in the gi, and I'm gonna push it to his shoulder. I'm not leaving it here on his chest. I'm actively pushing him. That way he has to push back into me, and a lot of lefties will settle on the end of that sleeve, because what he's gonna try to do is take it off. Yeah, there. And then, now he's in a good position, because once he gets this hand on the gi, now he's winning the fight. So I have to make sure I have good pressure pushing into him to avoid him popping my grip off. So we're here, I circle, boom. Thumb goes through, and I start pushing. As I'm pushing that, my shoulders are back, and I'm getting close to him, so our heads can almost touch while my arm is straight, okay? I don't wanna be back here. I'm too far away, I wanna roll my shoulders back and get nice and close, okay? And then I'm gonna punch this hand down and I'm gonna bend him a little bit. And I wanna make sure his forehead is pretty much resting on my temple, okay? This area here just by my eye. That's where I want his forehead to be, right here. I'm gonna press him and I'm gonna get my head resting there. That way I can roll his head in and out of the way as I need to enter into my Sayonagi. Okay, I just wanna have that head positioning for this throw. Let's scoot this way a little bit. So we're here. I have my grips now, I have head positioning. Now let's look at setting this up. I'm gonna bend him at the waist, pushing his hip down and away. And then I wanna use my right leg split hip version. Spread your legs a little bit. There we go. That way I can get this foot just inside and I can split here for the entry, okay? Basically all I'm doing with my right hand is I'm taking this hand, I'm throwing it out of the way, and then I'm coming back through for my saying on you. We're here, I'm in this position, I throw it, and then I roll through that position. Okay, so left the fork, there we go. So we're here, I get that foot in front, I bring this one in, throw it, Sink inside. So again, from the other side, so you can see the right hand. We're here. Pin it down to the hip. I'm pulling his head in, keeping that arm straight. We're playing with this foot. Spread the legs a little bit. There we go. And then I can shuffle inside, back up, and then finish that technique just like I would my standard right leg entry split hip. Say and I. We're here. Little bit of action with this hand. 
up and through the technique. Okay? Again, the big things to focus on here is A, making sure I have this grip secured down into his waist. I don't want it out here floating around because he'll just roll that wrist around. Nope. And then grab my sleeve. Okay? That's the worst case scenario because now once he gets that grip, you can't enter. Okay? You don't mind so much that when you hold this, he rips out. Because when he rips out and you're holding on to this one, you can actually freely enter into your throw so it helps. It's another benefit to having this grip is he has to address it. All you have to do is make sure they can't roll that wrist and get to your sleeve. Okay, because then you're actually stuck. There are ways around it. You can see grip, take it off, and then throw it, and then enter. Okay, so from this angle here, if, I'm, if I get to here where he's got my seat, and I have this, and we're fighting, and I can't get it off, I'll come back, I'll take it off, and then I'll throw it, and then split the hip. Okay, but ideally speaking, I take this hand, I jam it, I play with this lead leg, and then when I'm ready, I enter, and I finish my standing opponent, St. Nagy, against the left-handed player, using the right split hip method. Well, there you have it, guys. There's my left on right, Ipon saying, uh, yeah, I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for more content like that, okay, learning how to do Ipon saying, uh, two-handed saying, uh, make sure you check out my Mastering saying, uh, course on Judo Fanatics. Okay, I believe, I believe it's like four and a half hours long going over Rote Sayanagi, two hands on the same collar, Sayanagi, Pone Sayanagi, dropping, all the split hip variations. It goes over a lot of details, a lot of content just like this. This is actually pulled right from the DVD just to give you guys an inside glimpse as to what it's about. So check it out, judofanatics.com, I believe it's on sale.